the color response pane will allow you to control the brightness of specific colors in your image. The way that I like to work with the color response pane is to turn the preview off to see the original color image. From here, I get an idea of which colors are in my image. And I can see here that there are a lot of blues and a lot of greens and yellows. I can start with one of two ways. First, I can use one of the filter presets to bias towards a specific color. So if I want to push the greens, I can click on the green preset and perfect black and white will automatically adjust to brighten the greens. I can also see what the other presets look like by clicking on them and seeing the changes that are being made. I can also have perfect black and white analyze the image and auto mix by clicking on the auto mix checkbox. If I want to start over, I can click on reset to set everything to zero. Now if I want, I can manually adjust each of the color channels listed here. So if I want the yellows to be brighter, all I need to do is click on it, and you can see how the yellows in the image are getting brighter. If I want the blues to get darker, I can go to the blues and drop those down. Same thing with the aqua. Another tool that I can use to affect color response is the targeted brightness tool. The targeted brightness tool is the fourth tool in the tool well. With it, you'll have a crosshair. Any color that you put the crosshair on will automatically be brightened or darkened. So here, if I press and hold, and then click to the left or to the right, the color will get darker or brighter. So if I want to brighten the blue in the water, all I need to do is click on the water to brighten it, to make it darker. And again, if I want to start over, all I need to do is click on Reset to set everything to zero.